Good morning. Um, it's time for another video. Um, this time I thought I would give a more in-depth um, talk about the solar panels because, um, well, I think they, they make a huge difference and they're also quite applicable for people who don't live on a boat because, you know, if you're into the sort of off-grid thing and not giving your money to uh, electricity companies. Now I know um, obviously when you buy solar panels you're instead giving your money to solar panel manufacturers um, and but if you do want to provide your own electricity I think you have to make some kind of compromise somewhere along the line. Um, it's not a perfect world if you want electricity. I'm not sure how else you can go about doing it. Um, so anyway, um, I opted for, for solar panels. Um, I have four solar panels. These are each 150 watt, which produces altogether 600 watts. Um, that wouldn't be enough for a, a, a normal home if you run washing machines and things like that, but it's absolutely fine for me. So I'll give you a little thing about what they do. These brackets, you can get to mount them on they're very useful because you can just um, tilt the solar panels into the sun as I saying that that makes a big difference to their efficiency now underneath you can see that you get this little box this is where the wires come out this is special cable for solar panels it's not particularly expensive um, and you see you get a positive and a negative now I, I think the best way to wire up your solar panels is in um, parallel and what that means is that on every panel you have this box and it means that the, the plus on this panel has to link to the plus on that panel and that has to link to the plus on the next panel and that has to link to the plus on the next panel. The same with the negatives, they all link together. Um, what that means, uh, without getting boring, is that because these produce 12 volts, they will all, it will can produce a steady 12 volts um, across all the panels and it means if something goes screwy with one panel um, it will carry on working. A bit like uh, Christmas lights, you know, you don't want one to go out and the whole lot to go out. So, um, yeah, in order to mount them, if it's of any interest to you, you have to drill through the steel hull. That um, <laughs> amusingly wrecked all my steel drills the first time I did it so I went to the tool shop and the um, <coughs> the guy there said to me you need these and he showed me a cobalt steel drill um, I got that and it just went through like putty it was brilliant so uh, I'd recommend um, cobalt steel drills um, instead of wrecking all your other steel drills so um, <coughs> The cables all come down, you see, they keep linking into each. Um, all the cables come down. These are just adapters um, here, which allow you to kind of connect two lengths of cable together. They're waterproof. And they all come down like this. Some people would get the solar panels to tee together, um, like as they go along, so you don't end up with this huge bundle of wires. Um, that's what I'm going to do, but because I'm in the middle of nowhere, I can't get the adapters which allow you to do that. Um, I'm going to order them and get them sent to a post office, and then I can go and collect from a post office. Um, which is a handy thing you can do if you didn't know that. It's called post restomp, and you can get your orders shipped to a local post office and then go and pick them up with some ID. So, um, no, don't freak out, because this is just a very temporary measure. I'm doing while I'm waiting for my um, adapters to arrive but this is um, how I've temporarily connected the panels together so you see the two positives um, come into here and then go along and then another positive comes into here goes along so by that way you tee all the positives together okay I know that uh, that doesn't look particularly brilliant it's not particularly brilliant but one has to make do um, in these circumstances. Now, um, no. right, let me. Now these come down um, until you. They come into two wires here. So that's the positive. I I put little bits of red tape on to show which is which. 
It's, so you, <laughs> you have to be quite logical about it. Um, this again, once I've got my little, um, once my uh, little connectors arrive so I can do this wire properly, this little thing here, got a solar controller, will get screwed to the wall all neatly and um, it'll be a much smarter job. You can see this thing. Oops. <laughs> um, this gives you your current uh, solar input. The two wires just go in the bottom. It's really, really simple. It gives you your current solar input. That is 1.7 amps. Um, that's not a lot. That'll charge like a powerful phone or, or an iPad, something like that. But you can see it's keep the batteries nice and full. That little indicator shows the batteries are completely full. Um, and then um, out of the controller come two more wires. And those wires go do 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 That green thing's a power inverter, if you're interested. That turns um, 12 volt power into 240 volt power so that you can um, power your domestic appliances and things. Anyway, um, those two wires, they come out here. Um, just there, you can see. And then all they do is they uh, connect onto the battery terminals. You know, just for your standard leisure batteries, your standard they look like big car batteries. So that's um, the positive. You just um, screw that onto the positive. That's the negative. You screw that onto the negative. So you can see it's really, really easy. So the cables come from the solar panel. Da -da 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 -da. They go down onto into the little controller unit and then they go da -da 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 onto the battery. That is it. If you only had one solar panel, it would be incredibly easy. So you could get one like big 300 watt solar panel and you could just take the two wires straight into the solar controller and then those would go straight off into your battery. It's super easy. If you want a power inverter um, to create um, 240 volt power, say you want to charge a laptop or something like that, um, you, um, you then just uh, connect that inverter to the battery. Let me give you some interest while I talk. Um, then you would just, um, you know, the inverter just plugs into the batteries it's it's ever so simple i mean um arguably my uh using uh, connecting the wires together in that manner that i have is not perfect but uh, we have to make do sometimes um so okay i th i think that's about everything you need to know um as you can see it's a very gray day and i was getting about two amps um on a sunny day with this many panels, I could get up to about 28 amps. That would be huge. You could do all sorts of great things with 28 amps. But yeah, for general purposes, it's fine. And that's, as I explained before, why I have the generator to um, to deal with uh, circumstances such as today when it's very, very grey. And say you need, for some reason, to desperately charge your equipment or whatever. OK, well, um, thanks for watching. Um, I hope that was informative. You can see up there the fire is going. It's a nice quiet day, very chilly. Okay, so if you enjoy it, uh, give me a thumbs up, let me know. If there's any subjects you'd like me to talk about, then, uh, just uh, give me a shout. I'll give you a little ring of my bell. <laughs> just have one of those for when you're uh, going around tight corners so you don't have head-on collisions with other boats. All right, thanks very much. Bye-bye.